Trevin. What a fighting champion he is. Again, reminder, this is a non-title matchup. In fact, as you heard, Sage Scott would not qualify for this matchup. Once upon a time, though, Sage Scott was an ACW Cruiserweight Champion, now up at 220, well over the weight limit of 205. Looks like a little brick wall. Yes, Ross de la Vega just in fantastic slaps. Right across the face, slapping the chase out of the box. De La Vega definitely not gonna step down. You already mentioned experience. De La Vega over 16 years in the sport. Of course, Sage is heading up towards a decade himself. You gotta think there's gonna be power versus speed in this one. I'll be, look how fast Sage is moving. Oh, he's just, I don't care how much size he's put on, this guy is as mobile as he's ever been. Look at this, he is beautiful. Catches him. And while the kick did connect, that was a perhaps a bad landing for the leg there. You saw it. De La Vega was grimacing, but hey, guess what? Didn't slow him down long. Tossing Sage Scott out of the corner. Oh, he's really favoring that knee, though. You're definitely right. At the very least, he tweaked that knee badly, but good luck keeping Gus De La Vega down. You talk about a guy who doesn't know the word quit. High risk maneuver. Coming out, taking everybody out. And when it comes to De La Vega, finally got to make his FIP debut back in full force. Part of a match where, oh wow, that'll wake you up and cool you down at the same time, huh? But I was gonna say, it was part of a matchup involving three other competitors, and De La Vega, though not victorious, of course, did not lose that matchup in the case of Sage Scott, who just went fist first into the post. Complexion of this match, we have just changed. I was gonna say Sage was in a tag team matchup, did not go his way. Of course, when we last saw Sage in singles, Sage has had good experience from a singles perspective. Maybe not so much a tag team perspective recently. And look at that struggle right there. See the strength on display of Sage Scott, but De La Vega able to put on the brakes and sends Sage face first into that steel turn post. And you know, Gus, he would still, even with the with the weight, he would have still, if given the chance, you know he would have put this title on the line against Sage Scott, but that's what weight divisions are created for, and Sage is over the limit. Doesn't deter De La Vega one bit, and hold on a second. Yeah, the Cuban assassin out here. But of course, in the, in the case of Gus De La Vega was going for that springboard, it could have been a combination of whatever damage was done to the leg, could have been just the slickness of the water, but De La Vega didn't get as much distance as he hoped, and Sage had just enough cognizance to get out of the way, and things have changed drastically here in this matchup. For De La Vega, who's ducked down, straight on display of Sage Sky. Fidel Sierra, the Cuban assassin at ringside, been doing this over four decades. He's been on every continent, has wrestled for every major organization. What is it? This is the second event in a row that he's came out to ringside. We really not sure what his intentions are. He's not only wrestled all over the world, he's held titles all over the world. But unless you know something I don't, try Oh, not at all. We tried to catch a word with the assassin back in, in full force and assassins that we find out too but now wait into the pin two count only here and i'm impressed by the fact that de la vega was able to struggle out of the suplex for the one moment but not again this time it's sage scott taking out de la vega both of these men so strong but here in the <laughs> october heat of florida which it is hot it's that cardiovascular conditioning really that's going to carry whoever goes on to win this match and you can see Cuban assassin intently watching at ringside. And you want to talk about, you ever looked up the term grizzled vet, vet in Encyclopedia Brit Britannica? There's a picture of the Cuban assassin on that page. And right now, De La Vega still using the legs as a weapon, but I really think Gus may have hurt himself earlier in the matchup. And goes to show you, when you have a playbook, you go back to, sometimes your body betrays you. And right now, Sage holding on, and beautiful blue thunder bomb. Is this enough? Man, two point about what, nine, seven, five? Uh, Lee Canfield earning the ire of the fans here. 
at the OCC Roadhouse, but you know as well as I do, he's anything but consistent. Just every, say the guy's count is the same every single time. If he says it's two, by God, it's two. And of course, Lee has the best view of those shoulders. Hard to argue, but it's not slowing down Sage. Sage now coming off the top. Going for the best moonsault ever, does not connect. De La Vega would have been catastrophic if that had actually oh, connected. Picture perfect, just beautiful moonsault, everything. On point except for the fact nobody was home and he just splatters all over the canvas. Smack dab right on that WWN logo, man. Hey, how great is it to be back with FYP? Just anything WWN related, it's just a good vibe. It's fun, everybody's cool. Everybody's, it, I like the idea that you can tell everybody's trying to one-up each other, man. The bar is set high very early every single night. Oh, that's definitely the best in independence here. Appreciate you joining us on Club WWN, checking out Full Impact Pro. And right now, Gusty La Vega trying to get the adrenaline flow and take down Sage Scott. It's been an awesome atmosphere here already. The OCC Roadhouse in Clearwater, Florida. And a beautiful Russian leg sweep. Again, Gus has been on a roll as the ACW Cruiserweight Champion. We've seen him quite a bit at WWN Proving Ground, which you can check out. Beautiful Saito Suplex. You can check out Proving Ground as part of your Club WWN subscription, but the ping! Oh, two count only. How fun are those shows too, man? You want to talk about intimate setting, but so cool, so professional. So many young wrestlers have in their, a lot of them their first, second, third matches. I mean, it's... You, you see talent from the very beginning. You can say you were there. Beautiful. Neck breaker. De La Vega, the wily veteran in there, had his, as far as I was concerned, I mean, more than had his hands full when he signed on to face Sage Scott, but I've already mentioned it. Gus De La Vega does not back down from any fight or any challenge. Coming off the top, a caught by the knees of Sage Scott. De La Vega, you got to think, if the ribs weren't already hurting, they are now. The knee's hurting. He's just going to say that. He's probably dying for anything to forget about that knee, but if it means broken ribs, not good. Sage again. Pump slam into the Dominators. This is it. There is your winner, Sage Scott. And a big win here for Sage Scott. What a great showing though by Gus De La Vega. So curious to see what is the Cuban assassin that El Era doing here, getting in the ring now. Hardcore Giants down there. Strong gonna be able to catch a word, get a better feel for what's going on. Assassin giving cards out. Cuban Assassin Fidel Sierra, you've been at it for almost 50 years in the sport of professional wrestling. You've been all over the world. You've held championships in Germany, England, Japan, Puerto Rico, and right here in the United States of America. And I see you here. Two events in a row. Where are you up to? You see the type of talent here at FIB. Does it get any better than this animal right here? Or this athlete who we know injured his knee early on and colored through that match? What are you up to here at FIP? You know, Mr. Hardcore Giant, it's very simple. The best talent around the whole world, the whole United States, is right here. And I'm studying and seeing who I will pick to take to the next level. It might be him, or it might be him, or it might be somebody else. Ghost El Vega, one hell of a match tonight. Sage Scott, congratulations, but this man gave you everything, everything he could. And if you're looking for an experienced mentor, coach, or manager, we'll go further than the Cuban Assassin. Oh, De La Vega throwing the car back in the face of the assassin, and Sage Scott taking out Gus De La Vega. Looks 
exactly sure what I just saw there. Assassin handing out cards in disrespect from De La Vega, and it looks like Sage Scott might have some interest. Is that how he shows interest? Do not envy you, Ron. Nimi have to be the boots on the ground on that one right there. Not a good night tonight for, for Gus De La Vega, and you've had it well fed, sir. Really got to wonder if things would have been a little different if that knee hadn't been injured, but looks like Cuban Assassin has made it known. Handed cards out. He's interested in the talent here, and we may have just seen the first signing. Do I get hazardous duty pay tonight because all hell is broken loose the two times I've been in the ring, and we're just getting started. Say, Scott, today we went, we went to the limit today. I hurt my knee a little bit, but don't worry. Next time's coming. And Fidel Sierra, I don't know what you're trying to do, trying to recruit me. Because I know all about you. I know all over what you've done all over the world. I know. And I'm not gonna associate myself with someone like you to destroy careers. You ain't destroyed mine. I'm still the champion. And I did this on my own without anyone else. And I'm gonna keep doing it. Ja, do, Sammy. Yeah, I know what y'all thinking. I know what y'all thinking. Why did Mr. A1 since day one, the trill mongrel, take Cuban Assassin's card? You can't turn down 40 plus years of experience. Even I'm smart enough to know that. I'm a lone wolf in this game. But I also am filled in offers, and I'm a free agent. Hey, Sage, big old facts. Get in, we'll learn. Come on. Business is business. Nothing personal. 